Do you know the differences between a moth and a butterfly? There are several. And one of them is the way they're built, the rest are the way they behave. Firstly, the way they're built. If you look at the front of them, on the head they've got their feelers or their antennae. And a moth has feelers that are rather like feathers. Big ones, especially in the male. The butterfly has feelers that are like bent golf clubs. Long thin stalks with a knob on the end. That's one difference. The second is, well really, in their colour. Here's a butterfly and it's usually brightly coloured. A moth is usually dull, grey and brown. And while we're talking about the wings and their colour, let's see the way they hold them. The moth at rest holds them flat and casts no shadow, whereas the butterfly puts them together and sits like that at rest. Well, those are three differences, and they all have to do with the way moths and butterflies live their lives. See, that one, the butterfly, flies around during the day, and the moth, by and large, flies around during the night. And that, of course, is quite a difference, because if you're flying around during the night and you want to find a mate, you can't do it by sight. You have to do it by smell. And the moth's equivalent of smell uses the antennae. That's why they're so large. They pick up the scent of the female. Well, that's one difference. The second is, if you're flying around during the night, you've got to rest during the day. And most of them rest on the bark of trees. And, of course, they want to look like the bark of trees so that wandering magpies don't knock them off. And that's why they're so dull in their colouring. In fact, if I lift up this piece of bark, which has a moth on it, you can see there's the moth sitting on there. You may not see it until I uh, prod it and make it move. There it is, a moth very much resembling the bark of the trees. So that's one other difference. The other thing is, of course, that to resemble the bark, you really ought to keep your wings flat and they cast no shadow. The butterflies don't mind being seen. They keep their wings up like that. They cast a shadow, but if you go chasing them, they go flittering off anyway. And that's, I suppose, the fourth difference, behavioural. Because if you try and catch a butterfly, it's very hard. It shoots off into the air during the daytime. If you go out looking for a moth, it really daren't move. As soon as it moves, its cover is blown. It doesn't look like the bark anymore. And to show you what I mean, here's a model of uh, moths on a piece of bark. Now that just looks like spottiness, but in fact there are three moths sitting there, right on the bark that they resemble. You don't see them until they move then they're obvious. They go still, and you lost them again. They move, and you pick them up. And that's what it's like in life. Here they are coming out off the bark, and you see they're very uh, large moths, quite brightly coloured, with big antennae, but as long as they're sitting on that bark and not moving, you, as the bird who's trying to eat them, don't see where they are. So there are the differences. The antennae, the colour of the wings, the way they fold the wings, and binding the whole lot together the way the things behave, the differences between moths and butterflies.